The study titled Antiretroviral Therapy was done by the Joint Clinical Research Center in the towns of Kampala, Fort Porto, and Mbale, and other African countries including Kenya, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and Tanzania. The research was done in five years, between 2006 and 2011. Findings revealed that Uganda has the highest number of ARV-resistant patients, although there was no difference found in the sensitivity to drugs in patients from all countries covered. I can conclude from the studies now that there are basically no, no major differences between the viruses HIV in Africa as compared to, for example, Europe or the United States in terms of um, sensitivity to drugs or in terms of, of mutations that they develop. In Uganda, about 577,000 patients are eligible for the drugs. Critical among the issues is the lack of adherence of patients to the drugs. According to the report, this is caused by forgetting, being busy, stockouts at health facilities, and wrong prescription, which builds resistance. Patients must not skip doses, must not run out of drugs, is not enforced. That's when resistance comes. The reason why it comes, it meets drugs some of the days, and then other days the drugs are not in the blood circulating to suppress the virus. It is estimated that the HIV virus mutates one million times faster than the human body cells, if not treated. Testing viral loads in Uganda is very expensive, at about $400 per patient. To make it worse, the country does not have enough trained personnel and machines to carry out the work. It is not realistic uh, to do resistance testing on an individual basis. It's, it's not realistic and it will not be realistic in the, in the years to come. Findings reveal that the resistance is highest in Kampala, where 10% of the patients hide their status prior to use of these drugs. Resistance was also found in newborn babies from infected mothers that were on ARVs during pregnancy. And we find if, if few children who already have a resistant virus, so again, one of our aim is to see that we don't, we reduce on resistance in children. Findings also showed that staying longer on ARVs increased the body's resistance to the drugs. The Ministry of Health plans to put out 100,000 more patients on the first line treatment. Uganda gets most of ARVs funding from the Global Fund, PEPFA, and budgetary allocations from the government. Such findings are very disheartening to the everyday Ugandan that needs ARVs to survive. This also necessitates that the budget that is given to the Ministry of Health be enlarged. Immaculate Shatilekira, NBS Television.